And therefore, brothers and sisters, Eid is a religious celebration. Notice, even the celebrations of our religion, they are related to worshiping Allah. The first of them, Eid al-Fitr, is related to fasting the month of Ramadan. When we've done such a big deed, we thank Allah. We don't become arrogant, we thank Allah. وَلِتُكَبِّرُ اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ This is what Allah says about Eid. That you may praise Allah because He has guided you, because He has blessed you with Ramadan. And Eid al-Adha is the timing of Hajj, that great deed. When we finish up Hajj, even if we're not doing Hajj, it's such a blessed time, it's such a blessed opportunity that when the those 10 days of Dhul Hijjah are over, we finish them off with Eid al Adha. Even our celebrations are linked to the worship of Allah Azza wa Jal. We thank Allah for Ramadan, we thank Allah for Hajj, for the blessings of Ramadan, for the blessings of the 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. So the two Eids are meant to thank Allah Azza wa Jal. Also realize, brothers and sisters, that the correct position amongst the scholars is that Salatul Eid is wajib. And this is اختلاف amongst the madhahib, in my humble opinion and the opinion of many of the madhahib, it is wajib. And this means if you're able to get off from work, now this year, alhamdulillah, it is falling on a weekend, so 95% of us, we don't have work on a weekend. Uh, for those who are, who are in work, if they're able to take off, then it is wajib to take off. If you cannot take off without a severe loss or a job threatening or something like this, then Allah knows your situation. Otherwise, brothers and sisters, the stronger position amongst the scholars, it is wajib for every Muslim Muslim to come to Eid. So much so that when the lady said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, what if I'm in my, my, my monthly cycle? He said, even you, you come, but you don't pray, you just sit in the back. And so the lady in her monthly cycle, even she is supposed to come to the Eid prayer, but she doesn't actually pray. So then how about those who don't have that excuse? And a, a, a reminder and a caution, brothers and sisters, that after these 30 days, let us not finish off the month on the very day of Eid with sins. Let us not finish off with something evil. A'udhu billah astaghfirullah. Brothers and sisters, after 30 days of worship, let us remember that Islam continues throughout the year. That we've prayed regularly for 30 days. Let us make sure we pray the prayers of Eid. Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, Isha, Fajr. All of these prayers from Eid and henceforth after Eid. Let us make sure we pray them. Let us fear Allah in our dress code and our interactions. Women especially, I remind you my dear sisters, that Allah Azza wa Jal has given you special responsibility, special and extra responsibility, that Allah Azza wa Jal has asked you to dress up in a more modest manner than He has asked the men to dress up for reasons that are under stood and known to every, every one of you. And so do not turn the day of Eid into a day of sin. Fear Allah Azza wa Jal. Fear Allah Azza wa Jal in how you dress up on that beautiful day. Make sure that your beauty is hidden for those who are deserving to see it. Your husband, your maharim, and don't show it to those who have no right to see it. Also realize brothers and sisters that we live in a minority in America. And this is the final point here. You know this, we are a minority here. Look what happens at Christmas. Look what happens at Thanksgiving. Our children know that the world is celebrating. Well, sadly, on Eid, they do not understand the world is celebrating. We need to become the world to them. We need to show them what does it mean to be a Muslim on Eid day. Maybe the world does not celebrate. Maybe there are not big discounts, Thanksgiving or Christmas or Easter, but we should make their lives into the most beautiful days of the year. Brothers and sisters, Perhaps you do not understand or perhaps you do. Go back to when you were a child. Think of the days of Eid with your own mother and father. Do you not realize that a time will come when you won't be here and your child will? You want your child to think of those beautiful days he had with you. Celebrated Eid with you. You want him to cherish Islam, to cherish his childhood. And you want the days of Eid to be the most beautiful days of his year. And so do whatever you can. Spoil them rotten on this day, brothers and sisters. If you're gonna spoil them, this is the day. Make them feel like it is an Eid. Give them gifts, take them out. This is their celebration. Make them proud to be Muslims. Do whatever, you, even the Prophet says some famous hadith. He came home and there were some little young girls, seven, eight years old. They were playing the daf and they were singing songs. And Umar comes and you know who Umar is. And he said, Astaghfirullah, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. How can this be happening in the house of the Prophet? And, and these were young girls. They were not old. They were not 20 years old. They were seven, eight years old. They were singing some innocent songs. He said, Leave them, O Umar. Leave them. 
Let the people know that our religion has some ease in it. You don't have to be so strict. Within halal, obviously, right? These are not astaghfirullah, bad songs. Or bad. You get the point here. Young girls having some duff, playing some songs in Aisha's presence, some beautiful songs about noble, nobility, about chivalry, about courage. So the Prophet ﷺ told the Sahaba, let the people know that there is ease in our religion. Let go out and have a good time that within the confines of the Sharia, take your children to maybe some putt-putt golf, maybe something that they like to do, whatever they like to do. Here at MIC, we're having a, a huge festival for the children. Give them that spirit and make it regular and repetitive that inshallah ta'ala, when you're long gone, when they become at your level, when they have their children, they will then pass Islam down and pass these beautiful cherished memories down. This is the day of Eid. Sadly, the world around us does not celebrate it. We need to show our children what this day means. May Allah Azza wa Jal make us the real victors on Eid. May our Eid be a genuine Eid, not just an Eid of clothes and an Eid of perfume and an Eid of greetings, but an Eid where Allah Azza wa Jal has forgiven our sins, where He's accepted our ibadat, where He's made us of those who have fasted these 30 days and prayed these 30 nights and prayed on Laylatul Qadr so that all of our sins are forgiven. Allahumma inni da'in fa'aminu.